This is the last example from 2.4 day one. And it's similar to one that we did in 2.3, just that we have some specific information we need to fit in with our polynomial. So it says here, write a third degree polynomial with a leading coefficient of four and the zeros two, one, and negative five halves. Now this leading coefficient of four, that is a piece that we're gonna have to take care of later on in the problem, but for now, let's just ignore that part of the problem and set it up as we would any other polynomial we would be writing with the factors. And so here's how I'd like to start this. I'm gonna start off, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of space so that I can include some other stuff later on. But I'm gonna take this x minus, uh, this two, the one and the negative five halves, I'm gonna set up zeros. So with the two, that's gonna be x minus two. With the one, it's gonna be x minus one. And with negative five halves, you kinda of maybe have to work backwards on this one um, to verify that this is right, but it's gonna be two x plus five as our factor from that one. Remember, if we set that equal to zero, solve for x, that should give us negative five halves. But um, you know, if you're wondering how to get that, you just kinda of have to work your way backwards on this one. So we're looking for a polynomial with a leading coefficient of four. Well, we've got this and we want the standard form to be, uh, to be, have it all written out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to FOIL this out. I'll start by FOILing these two, which will give me x squared minus three x plus two. I'm skipping over little, some of the little details, but, uh, if you're wondering, go ahead and FOIL that on your own paper and, and see if you can get the same thing as what I have there. Next, we're going to FOIL all of this stuff. And so that's a lot of FOIL to do. Let's see if we can take care of that. So let's go one piece at a time. X squared times two X is two X cubed. X squared times five is five X squared. All right, next over to the negative three X negative 3x times 2x is going to be minus 6x squared. And then we have negative 3x times 5, which is minus 15x. Finally, the 2, 2 times 2x is 4x. Then 2 times 5 is 10. So we've got all that stuff foiled out. Now we'll combine some like terms and looks like we will have and I'm still going to put it in parentheses you'll see why in a little bit but 2x cubed that's all by itself looks like we have the x squareds right here we can combine those into minus x squared and then we've got two x's those can be combined into negative 11 x and then we've got plus 10 by itself so We've got it all foiled out. We have the correct factors here, and this would be standard form, except for the fact that it's asking for a leading coefficient of four. I have the answer down here, what it should be, and the the nice thing about this is the all we have to do at the end is just check to see, all right, is this leading coefficient four? Since it isn't, we can know that two times two is four, so we can just multiply this by two in order to get that. Now that has an effect on the rest of it, and that's okay. But we're just gonna multiply by two now, kind of retroactively throughout the problem. Just say, oh, we, we can do that for each step now, and the two then gets distributed, and you see all these values change. So when you're doing one like this, set it up with the factors, foil it all through, and then see, is there anything else that needs to, are there any other criteria that we need to take care of in order to get everything written in the problem? Now on number 32 in your homework, uh, we're gonna use, uh, there's gonna be a table and you wanna use the X values in the table that are zeros to write the function. And then there's gonna be one other point. We're gonna use that other point to determine the leading coefficient. You're gonna have to plug that point in and see what value needs to be multiplied out in front. So 
do your best with that one. Uh, we will address questions on that later on, but uh, set it up in a very similar way and then use that other point that's not a zero to see if you can get it to fit in with all the uh, requirements in the question.